with what we just saw, as you said, uh, Gonzaga beats Memphis, uh, a, a result that you and I are happy about, which we, we need to flesh this out because I think most people watching uh, are, are, are cheering for chaos. You're cheering for if the number yes. one seed, uh, the, the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament loses, that's usually something that is supported by most of America. But you and I see the bigger picture. Yes. And Memphis put up a valiant fight. Today was, was a battle. This was awesome. This was uh, – we, we are happy for Memphis. We are happy for Penny Hardaway. Happy for uh, Chris Vernon. There's, there's a good taste in your mouth after the ups and downs of the season. Yeah. But as you said, this was a battle, and there is a greater war at play, which <laughs> yeah. is that if Memphis beats Gonzaga, mm-hmm. we're, we're running out, especially on the left side of the bracket, we're running out of teams to stop Duke. Yes. <laughs> this is the Cold War. Yeah. And the USSR – and Coach K are, are gearing up for the cold, cold winter, and they're going to be okay. They know that they just have to outlast the re- outlast the rest of their region. And Gonzaga really is the number one team to stop them. And Memphis was trying to slay the dragon tonight, yes. but we cannot have that. We happen. can't have that because there's a bigger dragon. Yes, waiting. Yes. Uh but Memphis first half. I mean, that was that was as impressive as a first half. Up ten at halftime, as you could have hoped for if you're a Memphis. They 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 come out, they they punk Gonzaga, uh, physicality, athleticism, all the all the things that we knew Memphis might have an advantage in, uh, but we weren't sure what that would look like. Gonzaga's more skilled. Yeah, Gonzaga's a better team. Gonzaga has the experience, but Memphis has the athletes. Memphis has. More uh, rebounds in this more game. Reba- the, yep. Memphis crashes the glass. Memphis is not afraid to run. A lot of teams try to run with Gonzaga. Gonzaga will run you out of the gym. Memphis is like, we're fine with running. And we should say Gonzaga, as much as they love to run, they only love to run when they have the ball. On their turn. They do not love to run <laughs> yeah. when playing defense. They do not love to run back. Yeah, Drew Timmy is like, I like that. I don't like this. Yeah. And uh, that, I mean, this game in general, one, it showed at first a kind of the Achilles heel of this Gonzaga team, which is, quote unquote, they could be soft, which, I mean, you look at the committee, this matchup is a tough matchup for Gonzaga in general. Mm-hmm. But I think it's the game we're on, especially in the second half. We've been waiting for Drew Timmy to have that Christian Leitner click in moment. Like I I am supposed I am him, so to speak. I'm one of them ones. Yeah, this Teddy second Allen half introduced me to at uh, one time Memphis had twenty points in the second half and Drew Timmy had eighteen. You yeah. know what I mean? He was dominating and he came out with him like a man on a mission. Like he decided at halftime, I, I'm gonna have to help win this game and will our team to victory. And he did. If you're him than be him. Be him. Is, is what, that's uh, all we have. I think that's what Mark Few's halftime speech was. And <laughs> Timmy is a guy who you might remember, Tate, at when... when uh, Some are saying Drew Hemi. Drew... <laughs> Sorry, that was... I couldn't resist. That's all right. That wasn't the word. <laughs> I mean, you've, you've had worse, to be honest. That wasn't... That was, that was just something Jim would say. Yeah, that was being Jim. honest. That was, Jim's not listening, a, but if he heard it... That was a... Yeah, he's was rolling a, his eyes. He's watching <laughs> Michigan highlights over there, uh, doing crunching the numbers to tell me why they're a blue blood. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Timmy, Timmy is the guy that, if you remember, uh, when St. Mary's handed it to Gonzaga, I may or may not, or somebody may have with a voice similar to mine. I don't know. There's, we, we don't have yeah. the tapes. Uh, we, we, <laughs> we went, burned the tape. We burned the tapes. <laughs> but uh, I, I made a case that Drew, I was worried that Drew Timmy might be a front runner. I was worried that uh, he, he, he only likes to stroke the stash when he himself is, is uh, you know, he, he's, he's just scored five straight possessions and Gonzaga's taken a 12-point lead. And then and only then do we see him active in the huddle. Do we see him pointing at the crowd? Do we see mm. him doing all these things? Uh, to his credit, Gonzaga's getting their ass kicked. He comes out in the second half, and the mojo's flowing when – all of the all of the uh, the 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 variables had lined up for a game in which Drew Timmy just is like I'm good I'm out like you guys yes this, this, this is game the, is not for me this, and he stepped up I will give him credit because he stepped up and he was leading as as a uh, uh, friend of the program Andy Katz was reporting from the huddles Drew Timmy's voice is being heard in the huddles he's he's talking he's leading. That's good. That's a good sign. And it felt like last year in the title game, he got punked. And, oh, yes. and he did not oh, yeah. uh, want any piece of the Baylor Bears, um, especially Vital in that game. He was like, yeah. Mark Vital, please get out of my face. Stop hounding me. I don't want any part of this. What a great picture. I mean, yeah. Timmy, but by the way. I was about to point that. this out. When I said Christian Leitner, you're like, uh, that's a bit of a stretch. Look at this picture right here. I mean, this, <laughs> this is perfect. Dude, this that is picture- literally this is new age Christian Leitner and Drew Timmy. Thank you for stepping up and proving why I would say that. So, uh, what y- you had Gonzaga? I, I mean, we, whatever. We we both believe in Gonzaga. Of we course. both we both think Gonzaga uh, is. A we, we, we thought we thought Arizona should deserve the number one overall seed, but Gonzaga is a Final Four team. We, we Jim can't stop laughing at the Drew Timmy picture. <laughs> Where did you find this picture, dude? 
Getty Images. <laughs> Good job. Jim, Jim is MIA when when we're watching these <laughs> games, and we can, we can't we can't ever find him. We don't know what he's up to. Down. Looking and, at pictures, I know exactly. Well, and then yeah. the the show starts, and I see that Jim pulled the worst picture possible. Yeah. Timmy, and I'm like, that's what he's been. Doing. He was also <laughs> watching the women's tournament today. Yeah. He told us it was a better tournament, so maybe next year we cover that. Uh, where, oh, what was I gonna say? Uh, this. Uh, uh, a- after watching this Gonzaga Memphis game. Your belief in Gonzaga. You're a guy who believed mm. in Gonzaga. I believe in Gonzaga both as a program and a specific team uh, this season. Uh, is is our confidence wavering? Because as like it, I'm not even talking national title. Let's just let's just cut to the chase. We're trying to keep Duke from getting to the final yes. four. As far as the war that is being that's waged. the war. Yes, the cultural war. Because if, if Mike Shashevsky and Duke get to the final four, I'm here to tell you, America, that's a success. And it's and, it, and it's Gonzaga's fault. Yeah. Like if I have if if someone comes up and says, well, Coach K made a Final Fours last year and that gets to live on forever, I'm not going to put that on Coach K and Duke. I'm going to put that on Gonzaga. Yeah. They're going to be who I blame for that. And <laughs> it, it, the question that you're asking, do I still believe in Gonzaga? Do I still think they can do it? Yes. I think tonight actually emboldened my opinion that this actually team can helped. get hit in the mouth and they can bounce back and they can make adjustments because, I mean, the three games that they lost, they were down at halftime this year. They were down 10 today. One of which was to Duke. Yes. So all sides are pointing to, oh, my God, this is the recipe for Gonzaga to lose. And instead, their best player, Drew Timmy, came out and carried them. Meanwhile, hey there. Thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.